Hey Pit Masters, what is up? Today we're going to do a comparison video between a whiskey marinated steak and an ordinary steak. The steaks are not really ordinary. Look at them. Beautiful coat de buff steaks. Coat de buff because the bone's still on the steak. Look at it, a nice amount of marbling, a good amount of fat, four fingers thick. <laughs> now that's a proper steak, right? It's almost like a roast. I'm always looking for ways to make steak taste better or give it a little bit more flavor to get it more exciting, like with dry aging. And today I want to experiment if I can add like a little bit of oak smoke flavor, oak barrel flavor to our steak. You see, when we smoke steaks, we add smoke flavor and with a steak, oak is a good wood to smoke with. It will give you a rich, dark flavor. The same as we make whiskey, we put it in a barrel, we burn the inside of the barrel out and then all of that flavor goes into our whiskey. Combining the whiskey and the steak might create a beautiful, exceptionally good tasting steak with characters of oak barrel in it and then the strong beef flavors and the beautiful marbling and the roasting on the outside. Man, I'm excited about this experiment. Of course, with these beautiful steaks, we gotta have a good whiskey. So I selected the Jack Daniels single barrel whiskey. What they tell me is that it has subtle notes of caramel, spices, bright fruit notes, and sweet aromatics. All I know about it, it tastes like a good whiskey coming out of an oak barrel and it's probably gonna taste really good together with our steak. I'm gonna put one of these steaks in a Ziploc bag, then we're going to add a good amount of that whiskey and we'll set it in the fridge and let it sit there for at least six hours. <laughs> oh my God, just pouring in that whole whiskey. Can imagine what a fun I could have had just drinking that whiskey. Hopefully this steak is gonna be good. Let me know if you would rather just drink the whiskey and eat the steak like it is. Man, this experiment, these are killing me. Let's put the steak in the fridge. See you guys in six hours. On the other side of six hours, we're here, our steaks are ready. And I got my favorite taste tester, Jan <laughs> from Udenheim Barbecue. Hi. He is a fly sommelier coming over from Germany just to help us do a taste test on these steaks to find out if we made them better, if we made them worse, and if it's worth it to just throw on an expensive bottle of whiskey. This looks promising. See, it looks promising. Are you ready to grill these steaks? Yes, we are. What's the first thing that we should do? I think we should uh, fire up that grill. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna be cooking on my all new Napoleon Prestige Pro 500. Yes, it's a mouthful, I know, but a mouthful well worth it. Look at this beast. We got beautiful lights, all stainless steel. Look at that grilling surface. Let's fire right up. Now we'll wait for the barbecue to come up to temperature. We're looking for a temperature of around 160 degrees Celsius. All right, let's take a whiff of this steak. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> smells whiskey -ish. It smells like whiskey. -ish. Yes, but better should. Look on the color. It definitely got a, a lot lighter in color. We're just gonna pat this dry. Make sure that we got it dry enough. If we don't have this dry enough, it's not gonna form a crust on the grill. Otherwise you're going to steam it. Yes, we're going to steam it then. And that's... Not the plan. No, that's <laughs> definitely not the plan. We wanna render down the fat, have it turn nice and crusty. If you just compare it. Yeah, look at that color difference. So the hope is that it soaked up a lot of flavor from that whiskey. We don't know for sure because normally we would use sugar or salt to help it penetrate the meat, but I didn't really want to brine it. We're just gonna put this on a cooling rack and we're going to let it air dry further so that we have a nice pellicle on the outside. There goes the whiskey. Not recommended to drink this. Don't drink it. Don't do it. <laughs> it's horrible, right? Yeah, it is. It's crazy. Only YouTubers can do that. Don't do this at home. I'm doing it for you guys. Our Napoleon Pro is up to temperature. We're going to place the steaks on the opposite side of the burners that are on. This is our normal steak. And this is the steak that we marinated in whiskey. We'll close the lid and let the steaks come up to a temperature of 54 degrees Celsius. 
We reached the core temperature of 52 degrees Celsius. Now it's time to turn on the sizzle zone. The smell is already promising. First time. Yes. It's working. And I built it myself. Now we're waiting for that infrared burner to become fully orange. That's how we know it's up to temperature. Time to throw on the steaks and get a nice sear on them. We really want to see all of the heat going up to the steaks and building up that beautiful crust, rendering off that fat and sizzling on our steak. Now we'll sprinkle on a little bit of Maldon salt. This is the pyramid crystal salt. Let's smell both of these steaks. Jorn, I want you to go in first, and if you can find out which one the whiskey steak is, I would love to hear it from you. This smells like a seared steak. And this also smells like a seared steak, but I can already tell you that this will be the one with the whiskey flavor, because there's a tiny hint of this uh, whiskey. Yeah, so um, you can... You can really smell like the sweetness of the aroma from That's the it. whiskey. Yeah. And that com really comes forward. And you got a little bit of that oak barrel from the whiskey flavor. And yeah, I just want to slice into it and taste it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Wow, our whiskey steak looks really, really good. <laughs> wait to taste it but before we do we're going to slice into our other steak our ordinary steak as it well a it's not that ordinary no, it's, it's not that ordinary <laughs> but it's let's a, slice into it it's almost a roast <laughs> let's take a look inside what do you think yeah let's dig into it looks good looks promising Let's taste it first. Let's do the regular steak without the whiskey. There you go, Jorn. Yeah, this is, this is a, bit, <laughs> a little bit big. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a chick bite out of it. Here we go. Mm. This is good steak. Mm -hmm. Not too much beef flavor, but... This is just what I wanted to say. It's not that intense and really needs the salt mm -hmm. to, to build up. But um, it's a nice steak. It definitely is. Yeah, it really needs the salt. Mm -hmm. Now that we have a good reference, we're going to taste the whiskey steak. Let's slice into it. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. Oh yes. Mm. <laughs> oh yes. Wow, these are special. The taste is really intense. Yeah. Way more than I expected. Yes. It's, when you smell, when you first smell it, you can smell a hint of the whiskey. Mm. But when you taste it, wow! I really didn't expect this. And it's really in the inside. It's not only from the outside. You get really got the flavor all through the meat. Yeah. All through the steaks. It doesn't have that sweetness in the flavor as much. It, it, it doesn't make the steak sweet or anything. No, no. But it's the flavor of the whiskey itself. Yeah. It's it's like if you take a whiff of whiskey, if you smell it. That's exactly what you get in a steak. A nice bit of that oak barrel experience. And then on beef, it's, it's a great combination. It makes this steak special. The regular steak, it didn't have much character of its own, but with the whiskey, man, this is it's really good. This is next level. You should definitely try this. Well, I, I, I would recommend maybe getting a little less expensive whiskey. Yes. Giving it a try. It's a real surprise. To be honest. It is. And I think if you have guests and you don't tell them about this and you do this, they're like amazed what happened to the steak. They don't know. Yeah. And they will ha take a little time to figure it out. And then when, when you tell them in hindsight, it's going to be fun. The next, never the next thing you could uh, test if uh, rum works with a steak. Mm. But uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe. But uh, the whiskey thing really works. You could have it like a drunken steak party. <laughs> yeah. As you see, it worked out. I'm really happy because I was, if, if this wouldn't have worked out, I would have just throw away a bottle of Yeah, but you would have told them. Yes, yes, yes of so, course, so. but you know, it would still feel horrible. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Luckily it all worked out and our steak turned out perfect and, and it added flavor. So great experiment, definitely give it a try. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, hey, if you guys want to check out your videos, links down below once again. Um, definitely check it out. It has some great stuff, all in German. But we've been going on for a long time. Oh now. yes, 
several maybe, years. Yeah, we've been cooking for, together for a long time. So if you haven't seen any of our videos together, just go way back if you want to see that stuff. But um, hey, if you enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up, comment down below, and a uh, big thank you to all of our patrons and YouTube members. You guys freaking rock. See you guys next time. Until then, eat sparkler and keep on grilling. Bye. Yeah. Really good. Really, really, really good. You really enjoyed it. It's good. Denise, you want to try? Yeah. Yes, it's but really good. But first, you have to try yes. the, one, the one without the. Um, also, just yeah. <laughs> downsize it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. This is the one without this one. Can I have it now? Yeah, eat it. Please do. It's really good. Lacquer. Yeah, with with the whiskey. With with the whiskey. With the whiskey. Morshan, you want to try the whiskey? Good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Good. Come on, Mari. There you go. Whiskey steak. Still hot.